you been the manager and director at Something Wicked? Um, I took over running the brand about three years ago. Okay, perfect. And what is your favourite part of the job? I think it's interesting because I don't have a lingerie background, I don't have a fashion background. My background was originally in uh, marketing. Mm -hmm. So when I came on board, I learned so much. It was quite a steep learning curve. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting finding out about the lingerie and fashion industry um, and not necessarily doing things the way that everybody said they wanted to do or oh, this is how it's done. Coming at it with fresh eyes and thinking, well, why is that done that way? Mm -hmm. Does it have to be done that way? No, it doesn't, and changing things up a little bit. So I think the learning of the last three years has been amazing, um, and it's taken me on a journey that I didn't realise um, would be as exciting as it is, and things that I didn't originally think would be um, something that drives me so much, and, and in at fact, the production, the fact that we're made in the UK is something that is become really important to me um, so that part of uh, the journey has been really interesting. That's really great okay so um, what do you believe is meant by empowerment in the fashion industry? It is interesting the word empowerment is really kind of bandied around certainly in the context of fashion and women mm -hmm. um, and I think it means different things to different people mm -hmm. uh, but for me I think it's empowerment means that control over your situation or the choices that you're allowed to make mm -hmm. um, and that sort of freedom to do what you think is the right thing to do, mm -hmm. filtering down to every aspect of, of your life or the business. Mm -hmm. So how would you say that Something Wicked has promoted empowerment then? I think it's interesting, so we are a boudoir lingerie brand. Mm -hmm and lingerie has come a long way um, mm -hmm. in the last couple of decades. It used to be something that was bought by women or men for men, mm -hmm. uh, targeted at men, whereas now it's very much women are more in control mm -hmm. of what they feel how they feel they're portrayed. So mm -hmm. lingerie is bought for women to make them feel amazing. Yeah. And that's very much at the heart of the brand. So something wicked is a, you know, luxury lingerie and it's very much, you know, you're not buying it necessarily for your partner. Yeah. If you want to wear it for your partner, then that's great, but it's about, we call it our under armor. Mm -hmm. So when you wear our pieces, because they're so luxurious and the amazing designs that make you feel incredible when you've got them on. Mm -hmm. So other people might not see it. If you're going for like an important job interview or um, a, you know, a special occasion, if you're wearing something wicked lingerie underneath your outfit, mm -hmm. you feel strong, you walk differently, you feel amazing, and that's mm -hmm. part of the empowerment message. Mm -hmm. um, so it starts with the product, mm -hmm. but then it filters down, that message of empowerment filters down throughout every aspect of the production and the business as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, but it does start with the product itself. Mm -hmm. So, because you say that Something Wicked is made to order, mm -hmm. um, would you say that the fast fashion industry is reducing empowerment for fashion? I think we work in a very, very different way. So every piece is handcrafted, it's hand cut and handmade to order. Mm -hmm. We don't have piles of stock. We manufacture in the UK, everyone says, oh, It'd be easier and cheaper to outsource to China or Turkey, it would. Mm -hmm. But for us, it's about having control of that production process. Uh, manufacturing in the UK, where we everybody knows, you know, workers are treated fairly, mm -hmm. staff are treated, you know, paid fairly, treated fairly. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have stockpiles. We try to be as sustainable as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, we use local suppliers. Um, and... It's easy to say, you know, there's lots of, of brands that say, oh, what, you know, we're about an empowerment of woman and you have a girl power t-shirt and they sell it. Mm -hmm. If you're paying five pounds for a t-shirt that has girl power or some kind of message on it, you might go, the wearer might think, yeah, I'm empowered, I'm sending that message, that's what I want to portray. Mm -hmm. But the person who made it was not empowered. Mm -hmm. You can buy something for five pounds, whoever's made that, 
or the you know the supplier of the material or the actual person who's made it was not empowered in the slightest so mm -hmm. you might not be paying but further down the production line somebody else is paying in terms mm -hmm. of you know fair wages or fair treatment yeah okay and would you say that the quality of the material um, affects how the person is feeling when they're wearing it it definitely does and i think using um luxurious materials we use lace from solstice in france mm -hmm. uh, which can be up to you know uh, hundreds of pounds a meter mm -hmm. we use a japanese plange leather which is a byproduct of wagyu cattle it's super thin luxurious leather mm -hmm. by using those luxurious materials and making them people um who've never seen our product before the first thing that they do comment is the quality feels amazing. You're mm -hmm. getting something that's substantial, something that's special, the way that it has to be cared for. You can't just stick it into the washing machine. You can't yeah. just um, treat it. It has a bit of care. Mm -hmm. It's a considered purchase. You're paying more for it, but it has, um, you know, it's using luxurious material. When you wear it, you feel as though you're putting on something special. You will care for it more mindfully. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that it's been made by somebody from start to finish not mm -hmm. on a production line uh, means that you're you feel as though you're getting something special so when you wear it it makes you feel even more amazing and special and therefore empowered definitely so you just mentioned some of the materials there that something yeah. we could use is would you say that there's one material in particular that is more empowering for your Clients I think for us our signature is mm -hmm. the leather so nobody um, there aren't any other brands out there that their signature is leather they might have certain collections that are leather or mixed with lace or it's a material that they use but because the majority of lingerie brands outsource their production mm -hmm. a lot of people won't make with leather mm -hmm. because it's one it's a very expensive material and if you it's, you know if it's being sewn quickly on a production line and you make a mistake you can't unpick it mm -hmm. um so people are hesitant to uh you know use leather if they're outsourcing whereas everything here is handmade from start to finish by one person each piece has been handcrafted by the same person it's not about the speed of how it's made it's about that quality and that care um, and so using leather for us it really is our signature and it goes into every single one of our collections. Perfect. Thank you very much for talking to You're us. Welcome. Thank you.